Hey guys, I'm Tina and welcome to Well and Tasty. If you are new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button. I share easy recipes that you can whip up anytime in your own homes. In today's video, we are making a whole roasted fish in the oven. This recipe reminds me so much of home. Growing up in Cameroon, we have food all over the street. Like you can buy whatever you want to eat in the street cooked for you and it's just a beautiful experience. One of the main things that you can buy in the street is roasted fish. And you can have this with mionda, bobola, um, roasted plantains, plums, there's just a wide variety of things, corn, wide variety of things that you can buy in the street and it's one of the things that I miss so much about growing up in Cameroon. In today's video we're making sea bass and you will notice that I'm using a bunch of spices and this is truly just how we make it but one thing that you will not see especially for my Cameroonian and African um, subscribers is Maggi or bouillon cubes because like I said, I don't use that when I cook, but trust me, I still retain all the flavors. It's still a very tasty fish, and I hope you guys like this recipe. So let's get into it. Here is an overview of all the ingredients you will need, and this will all be blended up to make a marinade for the fish. But first, let's prep our fish. So I'm working with two pieces of sea bass and making slits on both sides of the fish. Try not to slice through to the bone. Then the next step is my tip for really moist fish. I salt up some really cold water, and then I add the fish and toss it in a few times. Then I also add some ice. You want to soak the fish at least an hour. This will help keep your fish nice and moist as it cooks. While the fish is soaking, you want to get started on the marinade. So add all the herb ingredients into the blender. So the parsley, basil, celery, garlic, ginger, onions, and a splash of water and blend away. Sometimes I also use oil, but I'm using water today. Once all of it is blended, then you just pour um, your blend into a container and add some smoked paprika, a little bit of curry powder, some salt, and some crushed white pepper. You can also add a few dashes of some fish sauce, which is what I use instead of Maggi. Mix everything well to combine, and then I also just add a little bit of oil and stir it up. After at least an hour of soaking, remove the fish and pat it dry so that this helps the fish crust better and develop good color. And then you're just going to baste the fish all over with your blended marinade. Place your fish over a rack on a baking tray lined with parchment paper or aluminum. Trust me, it makes cleanup that much easy. Having the fish raised this way eliminates the need for rotating your fish. And if your oven has that convection mode, then you want to use it at this time. I go in every 10 minutes and baste the fish with my marinade and cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. This might seem like a really long time, but the fish comes off perfectly moist thanks to all that soaking we did before. And after 30 minutes, voila, great tasting fish. This is truly an easy and delightful recipe and I hope you guys enjoy it. Serve it up with some fried plantains or a side of spinach like in last week's video and you have yourself a fabulous meal. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share the video with family and friends and I will see you in my next one. Take care guys. Bye.